usually a good idea to start sigma notation questions by finding term 1, term 2, and term 3. To find term 1, you plug in whatever this number is, which in this case is also a 1, that's just a coincidence. And so that's going to be 20 minus 4 times 1, which is 16. Then it's going to be 20 minus 4 times 2, which is 12. And then 20 minus 4 times 3, which is 8. So it's definitely arithmetic where the common difference is minus 4. Be careful there, it's not 4, it's minus 4. Now they're telling us, or they are telling us that the sum is equal to minus 20, and we know it's arithmetic. So then we can fill in the sum as minus 20. I'm using this formula now. n we don't know, so we go n over 2, and then 2 times a, a was first term, which is 16, and then n minus 1, and then the common difference is negative 4. Just remember that. Then what I like to do here is I take this 2 and I multiply it over, so that's negative 40 equals to n. Then inside these brackets, it'll become 32 minus 4n plus 4. I then put the 32 and the 4 together, which would be 36. Then I just multiply the n into the bracket, a trinomial by, I mean, you can do this however you want. I'm, oh, I'm, I'm actually going to take everything to the left. So that's going to be 4n squared minus 36n minus 40 equals to 0. I would just use the quadratic formula here. You can try to factorize if you want, but I just like to use the formula. And so what we find is that n is 10, or n is minus 1. Now, you can't have a negative position, so this will be no solution. Now be careful, n is your number of terms. That won't always be the same as this number over here. To make sure, you always have to remember that this number, or the number of terms, is equal to the top number, which is y, minus the bottom number, which is a 1, plus 1. So in this case, it won't always be like this. The number of terms, which is 10, is going to be the same as y, because these cancel out. But if this number at the bottom was a 2 or any other number, then you would have to be very careful. But for this one, y will be 10.